gotta be able to, yeah, it's too noisy. See, here's the, here's the front side of all that. A couple more buildings up here. That's what I was talking about with all the couches and stuff. Now they got some, now they got some, uh, a mattress, a couch it looks like, a headboard. That's what I was talking about, one of the places I want to be able to get to clean up because they have a bad problem with people dumping furniture. And uh, that's a place for people to go to for like a food, neighborhood food bank for the homeless or the poor. Huh? That's all. That's all in front of the other building and the, the building in the back. Then we got a old barber shop. But have this, have this side of the building, this side of the land for my uh, my business, uh, mechanic business for the uh, for the community, and then as we see the front side of the area that. I was showing in the back. Now we got the front side of what would be the uh, the kids' play area, and then my house over there behind the behind the porn store. <laughs> I took a house back there in those woods, in those tree lines. Then we got the shop area, but then how's this area? This corner for um, the, have a retail store, have a mechanic shop. These two bay buildings would be the mechanic shop, a green one and the red one back there, and have this as a merch store for, or like an office or what, for the mechanic shop. For the for the for the um business end of it, then have the back area for the car, the um the car club, have it for the car events. We got the, the side view of the, that would be the car wash area. And I got a couple buddies that do car wash, uh, car detailing. So that area, that carport area will be the car wash. Then the mechanic shop. The mechanic shop and everything else for the personal and then the business so all right i got a little ways to walk down that way so I'll see y'all in a minute all right going to continue to push oh my leg is killing me but we are Woo! Bit of a long way huh from way up there on the other side of that hill around that curve. Look what they're doing in that building. I used to work there. <laughs> now that a metal structure building. Sure videoed it from the other side, but a big hole in the wall to where the the down slope then the hole in the wall. There's a big section of that wall. Maybe I'll get it on the way back, huh? But we are almost uh we're almost there to that place there. 
get my water pump and scoot on back up that way. See y'all in a minute. So it might get a little choppy. <laughs> might get a little bit more choppy today. That's crazy, huh? Bag is heavy. Drink. Isn't fitting in my hand very well. On my cane. Oh, my leg hurts. Oh, my leg hurts. But, yeah, I ain't gonna work. Can't pick up the, the bag and the can. There we go. Now we got the cane, I mean the drink in my hand. Yeah, look at that building there. I'm gonna walk up to the corner of this grass section. Probably cut it that away. Back to that sidewalk over there. Look at that homeless guy. Sorry for you, buddy. You know how that feels. But look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, that building's crazy. I used to work there. The, the hurricane weather's and about 40 years, 50 years old. Hey, look at that, camo, camo. Oh, I like camo. Big old deer on the side of that truck. But, yeah, that rim tractor I used to work at. Sorry, trying to get there. Got the bag to stay on my leg. Got a rim tractor I used to work at way over there. Then, uh, uh, another rent place I worked at was right here. Uh, Staples was here, and S and B uh, powder coating uh, wheel manufacturing was way over there. But uh, we got ways to get up that way, and it's short time to do it. So see y'all in a minute. Oh, my legs hurt. My legs hurt so freaking bad. So, as we can see, I'm almost home. Only got about a dirt road to walk down. I just hit the first little curve around the dirt road. So, I'm about to, I'm about to hit that curve way down there. Turn that away. Turn that away. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go sit in my truck for a minute. Relax my leg. Get some medicine probably. And uh, install this new water pump. And show y'all the the update on the, the cleaning the block process and my transmission. See y'all in a minute. Okay, see so I can hit the screen. So, so the grind has got me this far, huh? Got the new water pump on. It's all tight, spinning freely. Another thing, shiny and new, pretty. Hmm. That'd be cool to powder coat, well, paint that part. But hopefully one day I'll be able to do some painting of objects. But I got all straight down and I even I got a little bit more cleaning to do but amount of <laughs> 
mounted that dirt or a clay tail and paper towel. Oh my oh like like see how there's a little bit loose right there. But uh we are we are pretty much at least the front half is mostly cleaned my main areas I was concentrating on was the the thing in and just a little bit in places but um the fan and the pulleys make sure because there is so much like especially on the harmonic balancer there is so much caked on dirt that was built up especially on the back side of the pulley right there not much room to do things so especially these are uh, the timing marks for the, the sensor right there. So, getting it all cleaned up, getting eaten up by mosquitoes. I'm flying around like freaking family reunion. So, yeah, one of my next goals is hopefully updating the condition of. Some fuel injectors, maybe. Um, the harmonic balance here. There is a slight. Careful. Go down here. There's a slight little worry to the harmonic balancer. It's totally flat and smooth on this side on that top side there's a tiny little tiny little lip in that rubber so hopefully it ain't nothing anytime soon hopefully the cleaning the debris of parts from behind it will help it run smoother there's all kinds of little tiny nicks in it like right there there's a nick in the side of it but hopefully one day and since I'm down here on the bottom end what is that what is that My lovely AC compressor clutch blowed out. So, yay. All right, see y'all in a minute. All right, <clears throat> making a quick stop at Walmart. I got the new radiator in. I got the new water pump in. And of course, the new tensioner and new alternator and New batteries and na 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 no. uh, but got the radiator in last night. Meant to do some more videoing, but got a bit crunched on time. I was hoping to get it done last night to take it for a test drive and then get done until this morning. Like been killing me on fire. But got the got it all in, got it running. Checking the oil. Hopefully, I can do valve covers soon. We can see the the valve covers are leaking. Need to. Oh, excuse me. I need to do a couple things here and there, but trying to keep her alive, trying to keep her moving, trying to do as much work and replacing parts as possible to keep to better the condition of it one thing at a time wish I can do a lot wish I can do 
shoot everything I need to. I can't wait to tear down and do all the surrounding things and then start tearing the way into this direction. Take the valve covers off, take the head off, take the check the pistons and all that. All that fun stuff. But hopefully it gets me home and back to somewhere else again. Huh? Motivation to live on. See y'all in a minute. What up? Hello? So, making a little Cummins update. It's holding. It's holding in a freeze. Oh, I actually um, I got another possible uh plan since doing the water pump and looking inside of the hoses, and I can't afford to change out all the hoses right yet. There's a stuff that's actually. I think this brand's more for gasoline vehicles. There's some stuff that's better for diesel vehicles, I think, at AutoZone. So, I'm going to get the, a radiator flush kit and clean out what I can and drain it and then run clean antifreeze through it. I'd rather, I'd much rather, I'd oh, so much rather just replace all the hoses and um, the housing for like the thermostat, all the areas that have the rust built up in there. And I'm actually kind of quite nervous about running the, the flush through it. That way, uh, what worries me is if bigger particles of um, the rust gets blocked off in the some of the port jackets. So, trying to, trying to hold on to her. But I rode her this morning to take kids to school and Stopped by Walmart for a minute and got a couple of things and <clears throat> I actually got I'm checking everything now. Checking my fluid level, my my radiator, my oil, my brake fluid, my power steering fluid. I actually got a little bit more. Just checking all my fluids and see what I can keep up on and then playing in the next steps like um cj on 32s or anybody else incredibly motivational like that uh make your next step your best step so just planning out i know i need a plan for valve cover gaskets maybe hopefully uh fuel injectors, um, just anything I can afford. Oh, I just can't wait for every step along the way. And we're leaving the pressure off my shoulder that I'm not going to run out of time on uh, getting one project stable before the other project goes down. I'm hoping that I get done making the, the Cummins run good every day and not be in fear that it's going to get messed up driving wise. And then I still have to deal with that project. Um, Praying to get another step towards that. 
and then praying day. Also, I hear back from the transmission shop about the van. Because that's starting to go on a couple weeks now. So, whew, that stress level, whew, way up. But just getting that grind, getting that capability, and getting the things running, functioning, and capability. So, salute to everybody. Um, I didn't even have to top off the, the antifreeze when I just cracked the radiator open. That's how it was. And so, um, I did put a little beta in it at um, Walmart. So, just praying for better days, huh? Praying for the ability to get these upgrades and keep the functionality. Can't, can't really do much with any functioning. So, getting the getting the process to keep on doing it salute to everybody and much motivation and uh be uh getting back in these comments and getting these next steps going don't go pick up the kids from school here in a second and uh and come back home tonight and uh I think the next, if there's no more problems tonight, um, trying to touch up on that transmission line a little bit more, move a couple of those hose clamps around from where the previous owner had done them. I've been keeping an eye on it, spraying it, and uh, wiping it down. Uh, seeing where the leaks are coming from. There's one spot that may be leaking that I'm not sure about that I'm not sure where it's coming from. But when I get back home, sure enough I'll get to it. Put it on put it on the camera. Get that get that time to grind. Get that motivation to hopefully soon I'll be able to Travel around and and get some work and like how uh, everybody doing those car giveaways. I like to enter in one, especially um uh, Mr. Incredible Silverback got going on one right now for the Mustang and uh, CJ on 32s and uh, uh 75 Caprice uh. They have the um the wagon. So woo, just be motivation and do something. Oh yeah, huh? Shout out shout out to swapping stuff. I can't wait to get a week uh whistle gang uh shirt. Guys. I have a whistle. I have a whistle, whistle, whistle. So, hopefully uh, I can start supporting people's merch and buying uh, t-shirts and hoodies. And so, salute to everybody and much, much uh, reasons to keep on moving. Thanks for the comments and everybody's Thumbs up. I'm gonna be uh closing up, picking up the tools and getting on the road. Be on a minute.